how you can start to kind of work out your basic formulas. Now, to do a formula in a spreadsheet, all you need to do is start with the equals, then you can click on the cell that you need and to multiply it's the star symbol. So I can click on that and I can click on that and press enter. And you'll notice it's got the cell reference D6, E6. So it's done D e equals D6 multiplied by E6. Now when I press enter, that works that out for me. And the good thing about spreadsheet models is if I decide I want more, I can change that. Now, if this happens to you, what you can do is make these wider at the top. So I'm going to do equals this times, which is a star symbol, this, and press enter. And the same works with anything, to be fair. Uh, if you want to do an addition, if you want to add something, multiply it, divide it, whatever you want to do. All right. Now, what we're going to also do, all right is I'm going to add all of these together. So I'm going to say total cost. I'm going to move that over. All right. Average cost, lowest cost, highest cost. I'm going to press make that bigger. You can double click there. Now these simple formulas, so we can go to equals sum. And when you open up your bracket, you can click and drag and highlight that whole row and close your bracket all right that will give you the total amount now if i want the average of all those items i can do equals average open bracket highlight all of those close that bracket equals min open brackets highlight that close the bracket and equals max i like that close that all right I could add other items to this and you'll notice this changing now. So we're going to say, uh, let's go for um, smoke machine. We're going to go 40 pound and we're going to say three of those equals that times that. Press enter. Again, I want my currency as a reminder of the last video. And there you've got it. That's how you you can start working out all the different items. Now, you'll need to fill up your spreadsheet and it will show your total cost. If you want to insert a row, you can right click and go to insert and that will separate that for you. A reminder of how to do borders, you can click up here and you can color those in there, all right? <clears throat> so that's a simple video on how to do the basics what we are going to do is we're going to do some more complicated formula in a moment.